I have wanted to make a video talking about modest kitchens for so long now. This is a topic that just is near and dear to my heart simply because I am somebody who does live with a modest kitchen. I find as somebody who consumes a lot of interior design content, it's really easy to fall down the rabbit hole of looking at beautiful, large, luxurious kitchens. Um, but the reality for most people is we live in spaces that are a lot smaller than the photos we see online. Um, and a lot of the times they're a lot more outdated and most of us don't have the time or funds to actually tear everything out and start from scratch in our kitchens. So I'm a firm believer that you really can take a dated kitchen and turn it into a really cozy space that still has a lot of charm charm and personality and in my opinion can rival even the most luxurious of kitchens that you actually see online. One of the reasons I feel so firmly about this concept when you do apply it to an area like a kitchen is because most of our fondest memories likely revolve around the kitchen, um, specifically if it's cooking with family or gathering with your family or just celebrating um, holidays and birthdays. It's likely going to take place in and around a kitchen area whether it's in your own home home or in the home of a loved family member or friend. And most of the time when we reflect on those memories, we're not thinking about how dated that kitchen was or all of the ways that that house could have been updated. It doesn't detract from the love that we share in that setting. Um, and I really think it actually adds to the nostalgia of the space. It adds to the memory and just the overall warm feeling that you received in that space. So that's why to me, a kitchen really is a place that you can just infuse so much of your personality into and you can create just such a warm and inviting place for your friends and family to gather in with you. So as usual in preparation for this video I did save a group of inspiration images we're going to be having a look through today. You can find them on my Pinterest board. I'll put a link for it down in the description of this video. I do love to save all of these images for you guys so you can go back through and review or if you really like something in this video you can go right to that Pinterest board and and save it for yourself. As we go through these inspiration images, I'm also going to identify what I would consider the five best ways that you can improve your small outdated kitchen. Whether you own or rent is obviously going to have a major impact on how you actually approach updating your kitchen. One thing I would recommend if you are renting and you cannot paint your cabinets, completing a deep clean is always a good place to start, especially if you have something like old oak cabinetry. These could have years and years of oil buildup and grease buildup that are hard to see when it does come to wood cabinetry. So doing a deep clean and a thorough scrub, this can actually just transform the wood and really make it shine. And obviously the same could be said if you do have just a basic white kitchen. This is always going to show lots of food splatter and wear and tear. So always best practice is to clean your space before you get updating it. A really simple renter friendly hack if you do find you cannot paint your cabinetry is just changing out the handle style. It's really easy just to get new handles that actually match the existing holes in your cabinetry. You always want to be sure to keep your old handles. That way you can add them back on when you do move out of that rented space. But adding new new kitchen cabinetry handles is just a great way to change the look without actually breaking your lease agreement in any way. Now, if you do own your home or you know that you can paint your kitchen cabinets, I personally find a great way to go is actually a classic white kitchen. You'll find in most of these inspiration images, we are working with either a wood kitchen or a light white kitchen. I just find a white kitchen overall is going to give you the most timeless and classic look, especially when you're dealing with a smaller space that probably is still a little bit dated. I find just a nice white canvas is going to neutralize the space and it's not going to highlight any of the aspects that are still dated or any of the aspects you're not going to get around to swapping out. And obviously I am somebody who loves incorporating color and character into your home. I will say if you are looking to have a really funky, bright kitchen, it's just my personal opinion, but I think this is best achieved when you are tearing everything out and you're starting from scratch in your kitchen. That's really, in my opinion, the time that you can go to make really bold choices. 
I do find if you're looking to just make small updates into a dated space, sometimes going classic is just going to be the easiest way to make that space feel cohesive and palatable, if that makes sense. Keeping your kitchen in either its original natural wood or painting it a neutral white shade is also just going to be the best base when we start talking about some of these other ways of infusing character and charm into the space. Now, this may feel counterintuitive in a small space. It's hard to take away some of the closed storage that we do require in our kitchens, but I do find when you're looking to add more charm and personality into a small space, sometimes eliminating some of this closed storage and just opting for more visually appealing ways of storing objects is just the best way to go. And it's going to give you just a few more ways of infusing your personality into the space. By having open shelves or open cabinetry this really allows you to look at anything that you're currently storing in your kitchen and pinpoint the items that are actually visually appealing those are the items that you can put on display in some of these areas and it's going to free up any of your storage space that's closed for things that really are eyesores or things that you don't want to be on display and open storage really does help your home to feel just a little bit more light and airy and not so boxy and closed in and if you are renting or you're just somebody who really does not want to eliminate any of the closed storage that's in your current kitchen. This is just a great thing to add on any wall space that you do have. Just adding some floating shelves or adding some mug hooks or just some way of displaying some of your kitchen items out in the open. It's always just going to be the best way of adding some personality and just a little bit of fun when you go out and you're thrifting or when you're going out and shopping for things in your kitchen, you can look for items that you actually want to display and you'll actually have spaces in your home that you can display them on. I do find for lots of small kitchens, even if it is a teeny tiny little space, one of the reasons that the space may feel not super functional is because there's small quirky areas that aren't being utilized for storage or actually as any part of the kitchen. These are the perfect spaces to be adding multifunctional furniture pieces into. These are just going to help serve as extra storage or extra workspace when you're using the room. And if it's something like a kitchen cart or a portable island, this is just going to allow you to move it around the room according to your needs for the space. I find these types of furniture pieces are also just a little bit easier to get a little more creative with. Often we can incorporate more open shelving and more home decor on these items. And this is just a great way to add some color if you are looking to add that impact into your kitchen. And I do find kitchen furniture does not have to be expensive for it to have a big impact in the space. A lot of the time, just like a thrifted furniture piece or even some stainless steel shelving can totally be transformed by what you choose to decorate on it. Things like colorful dishes or tea towels or even like a coffee or tea station can just be so fun on a piece of furniture in your kitchen. And it's really going to add more storage and take these items off of your countertop in a much more functional way. When you're trying to add a more charm and character to your small kitchen, I often find that the best way of achieving this is actually through styling the space. And I do find for a lot of people when it comes to your kitchen, it's not as intuitive with how you can actually style the space. At least in a bedroom or a living room, there's accessories. Um, people just have a little bit more of a sense of how to actually decorate those areas. A kitchen sometimes can look and feel just a little bit more utilitarian than actually infusing your personality into. So I I do find some of the best ways to add that charm into your kitchen is actually finding little knickknacks or artwork that you can display in this area. I know for a lot of people when they think about incorporating kitchen items, they often think about going to like a Bed Bath & Beyond or a Williams Sonoma, getting just a really generic white set of bowls or plates and decorating their kitchen with that. But 
I do find when you have your kitchen as just a nice neutral backdrop, it's always going to fall a little bit short if you're only decorating with whites and beiges and other neutrals in your kitchen. So this is just a great area to really let your personality shine, incorporating vintage bowls, ceramics, or handmade pottery. It's always going to look just so fantastic on any open shelving or any of your little areas that you do have to display in your kitchen. The same goes for textiles. If you do have any kind of window in the space, adding like a small cafe curtain, even adding an area rug or a runner, this is just going to help soften the space, add another layer of dimension and texture as well. And I know some people just love to have a clutter-free fridge. That's great, but if you don't have many areas to actually display items in your kitchen, the fridge can actually work really nicely to display some of your family photos or to actually have a magnet collection or something that you can decorate your fridge with. This is just going to, again, help to add more personality in the space, especially if you don't have any other areas to display in your kitchen. And then of course, if you are low on storage space in your home, incorporating everyday elements actually on your countertop is just a great way to show off these pieces while still providing an area for you to store them. Things like fruit and produce that can be out on the countertop always look so much better when it's on display. The same thing goes for bottles of alcohol or even just fancy bottles of olive oil or something like that. They always can be incorporated on your countertop and they don't always have to be tucked away in a cabinet somewhere. And when in doubt, you can never go wrong with having fresh herbs or other house plants. Even fresh flowers look so nice in a kitchen. In a kitchen, it's really common that the only lighting you do have is some form of an overhead task light. Often this is going to be just a little bit more brighter and quite direct light. And I do find one of the best ways of softening this space is actually incorporating like a kitchen lamp or some under cabinet lighting, especially if you can dim these two. I find in the evening or first thing in the morning, it's so much nicer to be in that space with some softer lighting than always having to turn on your overhead light. And as a designer, if I could prioritize one element in a kitchen, it is always hands down going to be having a window in the kitchen. I just find in anywhere that I've lived where there wasn't a window in the kitchen, this space always feels just a lot more closed off and dark. Having some natural light within that space is really just going to help uplift you when you are in that room. Also, if your kitchen has any kind of seating area, this is a great way to add a pendant light. Pendant lights can just add so much charm to your kitchen, and it's just another element that you can add your personality into. Another type of light fixture that I think works so well in a kitchen is actually a sconce. Often people will add a sconce over something like a kitchen window or even next to some sort of decorative element. This is just a beautiful way to add more light in your space while also adding an element of decor. So that wraps up this video of modest kitchens. I do have another video that I'm looking to do about modest bathrooms. Again, one of the reasons that this topic matters so much to me is I do find, especially if you're somebody who loves to consume interior design content, Sometimes we can look at what we see online and look at what we actually see in our homes and there's a bit of a disconnect. So I really wanna do my part to show you just how beautiful some of these smaller understated spaces can be. And truthfully, I think they even can have just a bigger impact in your life and feeling more meaningful than having some lavish, luxurious kitchen or bathroom. So anywho, I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one.